All right, dude. Wow. <laughs> That is how we determine who wins, okay? So you're my partners in crime. Do we have any single women in the crowd who are looking for a man who does a big burnout? None of you. Wow. Any single women in the crowd looking for some guy with a microphone that likes to talk all the time? Just saying. All right. So, let's go. Bring it. Come on, big dog. off-road lights in the grill. I like it. All right, brother. It's got a heavy scoop. Does it have a heavy under the hood? No, but it's got a pretty hot small block. 340, 360, 410, what? 408. 408? Like it. All right, where are you from? What's your name? Uh, my name is Casey Jenkins, and I'm from Aiken, South Carolina. Okay, but you're in Jenkins. Aren't there a bunch of them from Bland, Missouri or something? But that, not you, the same one. Okay, gotcha. All right, so do you think you can win this thing? I'm going to. Okay, awesome. Now, I talked about your car last night. It has this beautiful dent in the roof. How'd that get there? Uh, my dad and I built a uh, little lean-to, and we had a freak snowstorm in Virginia, and uh, the shed collapsed on it. decided to lean on the dark, right. on the dust. All right, so how many of you want to see the dust do big burnouts? All right, head out there to the man in red, my friend. Okay, it does sound pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Who thinks this duster is going to lay down some rubber? I think the conditions are perfect for big smoke. It's not windy. It's going to sit here. It's going to look great. I'm happy right now. Oh, did I mention that we're jumping the General Lee right after this? I know, right? It's going to be awesome, dude. <laughs> Jamie's still in the trunk of my rental car, by the way. I'm driving. There are snacks and drinks in there. Shut up. It's fine. This takes longer when you're talking to a Mopar guy. I'm just kidding. I'm a Chevrolet guy. You know I have to poke fun every moment I can. Yes! Rut row. Seriously, approved. Okay. All of you people in the little grandstand in turn number three, let me hear you shout. That's you people over there. By the big ATM sign. That's turn three. By the drag strip staging lanes. Wow. Y'all don't know where you are at. Okay. Never mind. That must be where the Ford people are sitting. Remember, I'm a Chevrolet guy. I would, I would own a Mopar, but no way a Ford's parked in my driveway. When Roush, literally when Roush gave me a Mustang and Celine to drive for a week, I parked it on the street in front of my house. No kidding. It's awesome. Okay, hold on. This is a, um, what is the name of this model truck? It's the little red wagon was the one that only comes with a small block, but... This is the Warlock, that's it. So, anybody know about Warlock? Yes, okay, so here's the deal. Warlock, 
green version of a little red wagon, way cooler version of a little red wagon. How many people are on a little red wagon? Yeah, I'm sorry, that has a small block in it, it's cute. This has a 440 in it. Well, it's actually 470 cubic inches, a big block Mopar. Let's hear it for the Mopar! So I'm gonna assume you don't like those tires anymore. No, they're my buddy. So you're gonna just give them a Viking send up. Just gonna have a good time. Awesome. Let her eat, big boy. Let's hear it for the Warlock! That thing sounds good. How many of you think this thing's going to beat the duster? How many of you think the duster's got it? Oh, you just don't know. You're indecisive. All right, are you ready? This is the 440 that doesn't even hardly have to work hard to destroy a set of tires. I can't see you. first time to vote. All right, are we good? You understand what I'm asking of you, honey? You good? Excellent. Okay, so, I just called that poor woman honey, I'm sorry. Um, it was a slip, I didn't mean to. Um, well, I mean, I, anyway. Okay, so, there's a ratchet strap holding this car together. We're gonna get to that. It's a Ford, why the hell is this here? Oh, it's got a hammer in it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Okay, just make sure. All right, so, who thinks the Duster is winning so far? Oh, wow. Who thinks the Warlock is winning so far? Go home, Duster boy. All right. So, uh, why the swap into the Crown Vic? Because it's a Ford and it needed a better motor. Yes. Where are you from? What's your name? Blanchester, Ohio, Nick Shelby. All right, Nick, and it is a six-speed manual car. Do you think you can beat the Warlock? I know I'm driving a Ford, but I'm not stupid. All right, get after it, big boy.
dude. Wow. Easy there, Trigger. Come on, kiddo. It's all right. You're good. All right. Wow. There's a lot of heat shooting out of that thing. I like that he jumps out with the fire extinguisher. I also like that he gets out and does his best Cletus McFarland impression. Your only problem, dude, is that, well, A, wrong motor, B, you're a foot too short to be that guy. I did, I said it. Oh my god. Now here, okay, hold on. Now remember, Home Slice out there ran too long. So we go by the first minute. Oh, and now he blowed it up. I told you it blew up. He's fixing to get towed away. All right. Who thinks the Warlock is still winning? Who thinks Ding Dong out there in the Crown Vic with a Hemi in it's winning? All right, Ding Dong for the lead. All right. So any of you remember earlier when I announced that if you won the mullet competition and the burnout contest, I was going to give you a hundred dollar bonus from Holly, which I didn't ask them permission for. Luckily, nobody that won is in the burnout contest, but you lost, but you were one of the top three finalists. So you think you can win in the burnout contest? Yes, I can definitely win. This is my specialty. This is your specialty. Well, you did go. Look, okay, but I love the thoroughness. You just got to love it, right? So he went dog dishes on there because you can't just leave it undone. I mean, come on, right? So style points, we're all good. All right. So they're towing that pile up. Yeah. All kinds of not good off the racetrack. So... This is a full breed Mopar. Yes. Yeah. All right. What's under the hood? 360. 360. 904 or 727. 727. Eight and three quarter. Eight and three quarter. What gear ratio? Make it up. It's fine. Who's gonna Who's gonna argue with you, my friend? 373. There you go. 456. I mean, nobody's gonna know. Remember, never let the truth get in the way of a good story, my friend. Hello? For the love of God, get your junk off the racetrack. We have stuff to do. Found on road dead. Effed over rebuilt Dodge. Dude, it's going to need a rebuild. He blowed it up. It's great. This is so perfect. That's the best Ford I ever saw in my whole life right there now. I love it. All right. Now, here's what you're supposed to do, not Ding Dong's way. You're supposed to go out there and see that fine young man out there in the red shirt first. Then we make the smoke. You got that? Okay, good job. Okay, so how many of you watch TV shows and you hear them start a Dodge and it does not have a gear reduction starter and you know that wasn't the right sound effect for that Dodge to start? Yes. How many of you hear the correct Dodge sound when it's a Chevrolet starting and go, okay, that's extra funny because that was a you know, Dodge van they used, right? I'm right, it's the same deal. Slant 6, 340, 360, doesn't matter. They all have the same gear reduction starter. I love it. That's a cool truck, actually. I would drive that thing. I mean, I'd lay it out like a foot because it's too tall to get into, but... Let's go. What are we waiting for? I'm tired. Burn out. Burn out. 
burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out. Brock, you can just take that Ford right out the gate. All right, the burnout is started. Oh, dude, he was not kidding about this being his specialty. Dude, look at the, look at the great, great skill. He's holding on to the van window with one hand. The technique is excellent. I like it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie. The dude is good. He may not have a shirt on. There's a, literally a guy doing a burnout in a long bed dodge ram pickup with no shirt on right now with a mullet with a mullet i mean i i got a tear in my eye right now i'm not gonna lie to you that is what america is about ladies and gentlemen it truly gives me hope for tomorrow <laughs> yeah, sunday's got more racing to do yes yeah buddy let's hear it That is what that is what you call doing a lot with a little. All right, are you ready, ladies and gentlemen, to vote? How many of you think the blowed up crown big that Ding Dong was driving is the winner still? I do not like you at all. How many of you think that pickup with the no shirt mullet wearing dude is the dude? Wow, I'm gonna have to do that again. Okay, one more time if you think the pickup is winning. One more time if you think the Crown Vic is winning. Again, I don't like any of you. Unless you're pretty and single. Okay, you have red smoke tires on this thing. What's your name? Paul. Paul, it is not Paul from Cleveland, Ohio. For the love of God, dude, this is a competition. Your name is Barney Fife. You need to do Barney Five. You need to do like, you know, Roscoe or whatever. You're in a cop car for the love of God, man. Brothers. Yes, there you go. Okay, go over there and talk to the guy in the red. It has wheelie bars on it, by the way. It ran around. Yeah, I can't call those zooms. Okay, they, um. So he autocrossed this car. He drag raced this car. He's doing the whole grand champion thing. That thing has got more rake than your forerunner is right. I was thinking more rake than my lawn guy, but you know. Are you ready? Okay, I think the red light's gonna look good in the smoke. In the red smoke, by the way. Look at the big whip antenna on the back, too. Wow! It's a girl! <laughs> the gender reveal party. That's one big smoking tire, my friend. Yeah, that's gonna blow the rear end out. Oh, there we go. Now we got some spinning for both. That is true, at least I know where he's at, so when he tries to run us over, I can see the lights. Something about that doesn't sound right. Oh, I smell transmission fluid. Yummy! Yeah! Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big round of applause! Alright, how many of you think the Blues Brothers Barney Fife insert police car guy name here is the winner right now? How many of you still think Ding Dong in the Crown Vic? I still hate you! 
Okay, I don't hate that one lady. <laughs>